right behind okay, you. Okay, Kent. Hey, what's happening? I think we're live. I think we're live coming to you in Technicolor, black and white, blue, vision, whatever you got. Going to take us a minute, folks, to get everything set up, ready to go, and then we're going to get after it. Shan's going to do a little configuration there that's way above my head. She is. How about we do a sound check for her? Uh, everybody, uh, can you hear this? Just give us a comment, a thumbs up, something, so we'll know we got the sound just right. And we welcome you into our little humble kitchen inside. It is a little blustery outside today. It is. Uh, we've been in the 80s, and then we'll be in the 30s, and then we'll be back in the 80s. Uh, sort of like wintertime in Oklahoma has turned to springtime in Oklahoma, so you never know what you're going to get. Audio so, is good. Audio is good. That is good. We thank y'all, like I say, so much for joining us today. And um, we're just very honored uh, to get to do this. I know Shen come up with this ideal, and I, I think it's great. Uh, you know, we're doing this today for all the victims and all those that were affected by the bad tornadoes in Kentucky. And somebody asked me the other day, said, you know, that's very humble and very, very kind gesture for y'all to do that. And I said, they are our neighbors. And our neighbors would help us out if we were in a time of need. So that's what it's all about. I mean, even when tragedy strikes, there's so many good things that come together out of people. And that's what binds this great country together and what it's all about. But we're very honored today, too, to also get to work with Operation Barbecue Relief. Well, you got to tell people to turn on their oven first. Oh, forgive me. Turn your oven on if you're cooking along. And I want you all to comment how many of you are actually cooking along with us today. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees and go ahead and do that now. And then the next thing I need you to do is take one stick of butter, put it in something that you can slap in that microwave, and I'm going to go ahead and break this one in half so it'll fit in there because we need to melt it. It's very important you melt it, but also then you got to let it cool off to about room temperature where it will just begin to pour. So go ahead and do that. You got one of them fancy gadgets there? Just stick her in there, hit a button, and hope it comes on. We hope. We'll see what happens. So we're very fortunate today that we're getting to work with these, all the funds from Super Chat because it is, it is enabled on our channel for Operation Barbecue Relief. Now, if you don't want to donate through them, you can go to, through Super Chat. You can go directly to their website, which is www barbecuerelief.com operation bbq operation bbq thank you shen <laughs> www.operationbbqrelief.com is that right that's a lot of words for me what's that sound pardon me folks while we look in here and see what's happening it's going to take another and it is well let's give it that many so have you had any comments shen about who is showing up to cook along with us we do need a shout out to alex he's in western kentucky Alex, uh, I know your town got uh, got nearly plumb destroyed from the little tornado there in western Kentucky, and our hearts go out to you, my friend, and uh, we just hope that this helps and uh, everything will, will get better because that's what this country does when they all come together. And, you know, Operation Barbecue Relief, them, them folks, and Stan is a great friend of ours, Stan Hayes, that works for them and sort of founded this deal and got it to going. And they have people all across the United States. There are currently a lot of them deployed there in Kentucky making hot meals. Pardon me, something's happening up here. Yes, it is. <laughs> Did it bust? It, no, no, it just heard it pop, so it's just right. But melt that butter first. Right after you turn that oven on to 350, melt that butter because we've got to give it time to, to cool off. Now, getting back to Stan and them good people at uh, Operation Barbecue Relief, like I say, they're from the West Coast to the East Coast, and I don't know how many right there are on site today, but I'm sure they are going to cook hot meals to provide to all these tornado victims and all the first responders and everybody that needs a helping hand out there. So, hey, be, here, be sure and hit that donate button or go directly to their website to help out because that's what we need to do. What are we cooking? Y'all seen the picture you did. What? Kentucky chocolate walnut bourbon pie let's just quit with the bourbon and go ahead and have a drink <laughs> but you know folks so many of people tell me when you start these deals and you're going to use some kind of liquor in there oh i just can't do her well when you cook with a whiskey or a beer you boil that alcohol out of it and you're left with that great flavor and the aromatics that it brings about now today we are strictly using something that I think is probably one of Kentucky's finest bourbons that I've ever tasted anyway, and that is Jefferson Reserve. Now 
You could leave it out, but why offend me? Just go ahead and put it on in there, and you're going to find out that we might use a lot more than you might, but hey, it is a good deal it is. Now, if we go back to the history of sort of where this version of pie come from, it goes back to the 1950s, and Derby Pie was what it was called. Now, they have made a lot of pies since then, and at one time, they made the largest derby pie ever, which was 12 foot in diameter. How do you got an oven that big, Shan? We ain't got a Dutch oven that big to where we can get that pie in there. I don't know what we'd do with it if we did. But so I think we ought to go ahead and get started. For those of y'all that might have just joined us, turn that oven on to 350. How many of you are cooking along? I'm gonna need a lot of help. Let me just show who our live studio audience is right oh, there. <laughs> it's, it's my major kitchen help. What is going on, Mage? Well, Mage, let's get a mixing bowl over here. And the first thing we're going to start off with, folks, is half a cup of all-purpose flour. Get her in there. And then one cup of white granulated sugar, or just white sugar is what I call it. And i got to find one of these fancy tools, Mage, right here. People would say, do you need to mix this? Yeah, to get that sugar and flour combined in there really well, we do need to mix it. Now... We're going to set that aside right here, and we have what? Y'all know what they're called. What are they? Major, go ahead and tell them. Major says they are rooster bullets, hen fruit, cackle berries. So get your two eggs in there, and if you got fresh eggs, mm, that's even best. And if you can do this, you're in pretty good shape. Don't do it in the floor. Well, Major would clean it up today, but hey. Oh, tell everyone to give us a like. Clark just said that. Do what? Clark. Reminded everybody to like the video. Oh, yes. Be sure and like the videos, folks. And, and leave us a comment down there because that does help our channel grow and we appreciate it. So beat your eggs slightly lightly, I think is how they would put it because we want them to stay together. Now, the butter that is cooling is not cooling near fast enough, Shan, because I have found out through making this pie, if you use the warm butter and put it in here with them eggs, which you never want to do. It sort of makes them eggs set just a little. But I don't think that the pie sets up as well if you're using just straight warm butter. So we're going to let that cool off a little. And if anybody got any questions, this would be a good time to have them while we're letting the butter cool because that butter is hot, I'm telling you. we got a lot of Kentucky fans. Well, we thank all you Kentucky people for tuning in. We do because, hey, this is what it's about, uh, to help those folks that are feeding y'all. And uh, if you go by any of them folks, Stan, Operation Barbecue Relief, you tell them how much you appreciate what they're doing because uh, they are doing a great service. They are. We've got $225 donated so far. $225 donated so far, so that is good. So our butter's a little warm. And tell you what I'm going to do, Shan, if you don't mind. Are you what? I'm going to get a little ice. Do oh, you mind? Okay. Let me get a bowl. I'll be right off the camera. Talk to them, Shan. Uh -oh. I'll talk to them. Maybe I just pan away. See our dirty cabinet? Uh-huh. We're going to looking for a bowl somewhere. I cook in outside most of the time. I don't know. Now I've got to be real careful to not knock down this light that Shan's got here. That's going to be difficult. So let me move this just oh, a no. little. I'll move it back, Shan. Oh, I no. promise. That's what happens in live. Yes, it is. You never know what's going to happen when you're cooking with Cowboy Kent. So we're just going to set that butter down here and let it cool oh, okay. off just a minute. You like that? Yeah. That's what you call MacGyverizing. Do you have any pie crust tips? Pie crust tips. While we're waiting for that butter to cool, I am going to give you some. Now, you don't have to pre-bake this pie crust. You don't even have to buy a pre-made pie crust. If you really want to make this later, the crust that I would prefer you use is off our apple pie video that we did at Thanksgiving. So, hey, go ahead and get you one of them store bots if you got it. We're going to bake this pie crust a little bit because it helps it get a little crispier. Mage, you got anything you'd like to add to this? Huh? So, the Pillsbury Poppin' Fresh Doughboy come by the house this morning and he left one of these. And I am sure proud that he did. Green hat's watching. Green hat. There's my guy. Now, folks, y'all wonder what green hat is all about. Me too. He's a friend of ours from southern Oklahoma. And the first time I ever seen him, he sort of got this green cowboy hat on him. I didn't know his name, but we've always called him green hat for that. And he is a good cowboy. So take this pie crust. 
if you can get the little feller unrolled a little bit, try to start right about the middle of your pie plate, pie dish, and this is a nine incher, it is. Go ahead and try to get it to where everybody's coming up the sides the same distance, if you can. And go ahead and mash that bottom down to where everything fits. I do want to say, um, let me pop in real quick. All right, go ahead, sugar. So I do want to say, I'm reading the comments, and a lot of people are concerned about YouTube taking a cut of the Super Chat. So what we're going to do is we're going to compensate that difference, and we're going to personally donate that to compensate so that your funds will be 100% added to Operation Barbecue Relief. There is a way for us to do, um, uh, for YouTube to do direct um, donations to a nonprofit, but RBQ, oh, I have to use your microphone. Oh, I'm but sorry. OBR isn't yet um, funded for YouTube, so they will be in the future, but just so you know, 100% of your funds are gonna go toward OBR. So oh, we'll get it there, folks. We'll make sure that everybody gets took care of. That pie crust there is sitting there, and this is something my mother taught me many years ago. If you're gonna bake a pie crust, we need to poke a few holes in it. Now, they make things called pie weights. That's when you see little dumbbells that little pie crust are lifting up all the time. Is that what it is, Shin? I don't know what you know. Okay, we gotta have something to keep that pie crust from bubbling up on the bottom. And when you poke that hole, them are gonna help a little. It's giving it some air. But a thing that Shen come up with a long, long time ago that I seen her using, I'm thinking, what is she doing? Folks, we just gonna pour some beans in there for weight. And then we're gonna put it in this oven at 350 degrees for about eight minutes, just to let that pie crust sort of set there a minute. So pardon me while I put this in there, Major. It is in the middle rack, it is. So our butter temperature is getting better, it is. Any other questions, Shans, while we're going along and I need a towel? <laughs> but just remember, if you just joined us now and you think, oh, this is the only chance that I'm gonna get to see this little live deal, no, it will be on our page from now on to where you can go back and watch this. The recipe is posted there. All of you got your ingredients ready to go. And we have started out with flour and sugar, got it mixed well, got two eggs lightly beaten, and we're just waiting for the butter to cool off. Is it still hot? Yeah, I never trusted a microwave. Maybe if you just really slowly pour it, we can do that. Pours. We can do that. So you got your flour over here, get your butter that is supposed to be room temperature, Begin to stir your eggs lightly slow, slow. and pour your butter slowly. Oh, it's out of the bowl. You're missing the bowl. I'm getting close. <laughs> Just make sure that you keep it stirred. And what does that do? When you pour it slowly and it's hot, it'll keep it them eggs from setting. We ain't wanting to cook them just yet, so we're just gonna go ahead and add it gradually. But when this butter is cool, hey, you can just pour right in there. It'll be good as gold. That way we ain't getting no separation from them eggs. So, into the flour mixture. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it goes. Make sure you get it all in there. And we have things at our house called culinary. Culinary, come here, buddy. Oh, here comes another one. Culinary. Come on, culinary. I need your help in here. Take Major's job from him. Look out, Major. Let the pro do it. There you go. He knows what's happening. Now, I need you to take your whisk, combine the flour and the sugar, the melted butter and the eggs, and you're gonna get a smooth, as they say in my country, yellow consistency, which is just Ooh, like that. Pretty. I mean, that is what you call already fit to eat in my book, it is. Get rid of this cooling butter apparatus. Into that, Jefferson's Reserve. Is that a good year? It was a very good year, even if it was yesterday. So folks, the recipe probably calls for like maybe four tablespoons or two tablespoons. I got about a half a cup in here and we're gonna use nearly all of it and we're gonna reserve that much for later. Why? Because we need to. Give that a stir again. And then guess what? Walnuts. 
we got us a whole cup of chopped walnuts. Joseph said it needs more bourbon. More bourbon. Okay, Joseph. <laughs> Hang on. I need to save a little of that, Joseph. And Shan's been in it early this morning, so we ain't got none left. And I got to have some for reserve there. So get that stirred up well. And folks, if you really don't like walnuts, this is just traditionally how it was made. You can use pecans. Get them in there. They go. A cup and a fourth of what? Semi-sweet chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. I'm already thinking this is looking better all the time. To that, we're going to add some vanilla. And folks, if you ever be wanting to measure vanilla precisely, that capful is a teaspoonful. So we're going to put that much in there. We are. And then we're going to add just a pinch of salt. I mean, just a tad. Don't take much. Get it all stirred up well. I figure our pie crust has probably been in there about long enough. I mean, we could just eat that out of the bowl now, Shan. I mean, I, I'm thinking it would be good to go. What do you think, Mage? Hmm? We'll get that there, get rid of this here and here. Find one of them deals they call a pot holder, maybe. And look, it's even Christmas theme, <laughs> Shan, it is. Oh my gosh. So we are doing all the good in the world. We're at $804. $304. $308. No, $804. $804. Eight hundred and four. I'm even liking that better, I am. And we have a major catastrophe. Do I need to zoom in what's happening back there? No, because I'm burning my fingers just trying to get a hold of this little fancy pie dish and get the beans out of it. Well, folks, I'm going to tell you something. I am as soon as I get this mess out of here. Oh no! What happened yes, to crust? it had a hole in the bottom, and the beans got under the crust. Uh oh! You know why they make two pie crust? Oh! You know why? <laughs> they make two pie crust for a reason. Now, folks. If this had been a real YouTube video, y'all would have never seen none of that. But it is too late. It has happened. It has. Oh, man. And the other pie crust that we put back in the freezer, and it is like frozen, Shan. Uh-huh. So. You know what we could do? We could just bake it without the pie crust. No, we're going to get this to go in. Sometimes... I am amazed that things happen like this, I am. But hey, that's just the way it is. And this one will, is cold. I'm going where no man has gone before. I am trying to defrost a pie crust that I know nothing about. And we'll see what happens. Oh. If nothing else, folks, this is a comedy show. You should enjoy, you know. Be Ask, do they like these live ones? Uh, yeah, do, do y'all like these live videos? I know we've done like a salmon patty live cook along. I uh, can't remember what was before that, but hey, we need to know, and we need to know what kind of videos y'all would sort of like to see in the new year coming. But also, we got a little gift we're going to give y'all. We've got a special Christmas edition coming out Sunday. Yep, you heard me right. Tomorrow, 2.30, Shin? Three o'clock. Oh, I don't know the time yet. Don't know the time tomorrow. yet. But tomorrow it's evening, probably. Tomorrow evening. And we're going to try to start putting out two videos a week for y'all like we used to. And um, that way things will be good. Now, this pie crust looks a whole lot sight better than that other one did. <laughs> I'll tell you for sure. Because when you got beans under your pie crust from a whole, sort of like going down that rug board road, you know, just beat stuff together. Wasn't never going to work. Go ahead and let's prick some holes in there so we'll get a little airflow. We've got everything mixed up. Pour in there. Ooh. Don't that look pretty? I like it. Make sure you don't leave nobody in there. We need everybody to participate. People, a good idea. You put down parchment paper. Parchment paper under the pie crust. No, uh, huh? on top under the beans. Under, oh, I forgot that part. I seen my mother and you both do that. Why didn't somebody tell me this before I started a while Everybody's ago? Everybody's saying parchment paper yeah, uh -huh. after the fact. After the fact. <laughs> Everybody was looking on Google. Hey, what should you do to put the beans in there? That's what we're happening. All right. 
make sure that everything gets to looking a well, little let level. Get, let, me, let me just. Our house slopes. Bring that up a little bit so people can see. It looks like a big chocolate chip cookie. Uh huh. Okay. And it is going to be good. Let me get this pie crust back up here out of the way where it goes. Our oven is pre hundred pre hundred preheated to 350. We have been through 27 pie crust already. So we're going to slap it in. Make sure it's in the middle rack. We're going to cook it 45 to 50 minutes or until the filling sets up just right. Look out, Mage. So. We're at a $906. Right $906. I know that will help Stan and them. Give us a little shout out on OBR again. And uh, for tr donating folks. We sure do thank the good folks at OBR, Operation Barbecue Relief, for being there providing hot meals. And uh, hey, them folks do a great job all the way across the country, but staying in that group are right there in Kentucky, and they are putting out some good meals. Any other questions, Sugar? No, people were loving the live. Loving the live. Love to see me make a mistake, didn't you? How come people didn't warn me about the parchment paper before, Shen? Because uh -huh. I'd forgot it. I really did. But hey... Y'all know y'all like our videos, and I think you know that we're going to try to leave it as real as possible. And y'all done caught me doing some real stuff today, <laughs> you did, so it but, is good. But you do have a surprise because we cooked a good one before. Well, yes, we did. But I, somebody's been in it. Oh. Somebody has been in the pie because there is one piece missing. There is. Now, all good pie should have what? Homemade whipped cream. Yeah, I'm not talking store-bought or the kind that goes all over there. That is Major and Beagle's favorite kind. But just get you some heavy whipping cream, dump it in that mixer over there, and just get her to going. But folks, I'll give you a tip. If you want that cream to set even faster, take the beater off there and the bowl, put it in the freezer about 30 minutes ahead of time, and it will help that set. So can you talk to me a minute, Shan, while I get me a plate? Because I'm not just going to eat right out of here. I'm not. Go so ahead. I'm going to zoom in on all the right. Major again because he's been waiting. Major. Major's wanting some Major pie. Ready? I don't know where the beagle is. Oh, beagle? Big? There We're finna. we go. Y'all can't have nuts, but y'all can have a bite of pie crust. And look what we got in here just for the pups. They're such a great culinary team, they are. Big says, I know what that is. So, this is the beater oh. that was left off the whipped cream. So, if culinary could come in here and take a hoe, yes, I'm telling you, they are doing some of that good. Show them your face, Mage. I mean, my <laughs> gosh. Get get it in your mouth there, Mage. There you go. We're nearly at $1,000. Nearly at $1,000. That is so great. God bless y'all, each and every one that have donated and tuned in and watched. Now, remember we saved some of that whiskey back? If you want to add a little extra goodness to this, Pour that in that whipped cream. Give it another stir. Get that whipped cream mixed in there good with that good bourbon from Kentucky. And then guess what? We gonna cut us some pie. And we gonna get a Jethro Bodine oh slice. Mm-hmm. And I want you to oh. see all that. It's like Shan says, it looks like a giant chocolate chip cookie. Now, when you get that out of that oven after 45 to 55 minutes, whatever it needs to cook, set it on a wire rack. Let it cool at least two hours. I would prefer it that way. That way, you know it's going to be able to come out of that just like that. And look, there's not a bean under this one at all. So let me find that fork bead. Spread me some of that whipped cream on there. Get this bite that's still on the fork. Mm. Hear that crunch? That's what pre-bacon <clears throat> that pie crust will do. Shen, you want a bite? Oh, no, I'm good. <clears throat> We're over a thousand. Folks, that might be a pie that's going to be on my dessert list for a long time to come. I'm afraid to dance too much in the kitchen. The way things been going today, something might happen, fall off ceiling, but... <clears throat> The Kentucky Derby Shuffle. I gotta have a drink. We're all out of bourbon because I can't remember the feller's name that told me to put more bourbon in there. <clears throat> so, 
So, remember folks, even if you haven't watched this, you're just now tuning in right at the very last, Operation Barbecue Relief, Super Chat is turned on to them, or you can go directly to their website, which is www.obbqrelief.com. Operation BBQ Relief.com. Yeah. Ma'am? I said say that. Okay, let me Operation. Jump in again. <clears throat> Jumping in again, and then I'm going to have a bite of pie. Uh huh. So um, if you're tuning in, 100% of your Super Chat donations are going to go to Operation Barbecue Relief. We are going to personally compensate that percentage that YouTube takes. So just know that 100% of your donation will be donated to Operation Barbecue Relief. However, after this live video, if you want to, or now you can go to operationbbqrelief.com and you can donate directly to them. Um, if you don't want to donate, that's fine. Just keep them in your prayers. Yeah. Um, have some pie. Uh -huh. And this video will be live or will be hosted on our website for Indef ever. Indefinitely. And the recipe is below. Yeah. And uh, f use parchment paper. That's what I, I remember now. Oh, yeah. Use some parchment paper. But folks, we... We thank you so much, as always, for uh, for supporting us, but more than that, for supporting the people that this is going to. And uh, we just uh, lift all those folks up, and they're in our hearts and prayers up there that were affected by this and the ones that lost loved ones. And, uh, hey, it's a great country that we live in, and uh, people bond together. Out of tragedy, always something good comes. But uh, we wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas. Remember to like and comment on all the videos. It helps our channel grow and share. Share the pie, share the videos, share the love. Because this is the reason, folks, that we have this Christmas season. And remember, gifts don't come from the wallet or from the hand. They come from the heart. And the folks at Operation Barbecue Relief, they're giving from the heart. So what we can give to them to help them provide more meals is a great thing. So God bless you, each and every one. Thank you for tuning in. And don't mess up the pie crust.